Welcome back. A new Deloitte survey shows a majority of American consumers in every age group would rather watch a show or movie written by a human rather than artificial intelligence. Advertisers can make tailored ads to target their ideal audience by using AI. Joining me right now is Zimmerman Advertising founder and chairman Jordan Zimmerman. He's back with us this morning after technical issues yesterday. Jordan, great to see you. Thank you so much for being great here. To see you. We were in the middle of talking about um, geography and demographics, which I'm going to get to in a second. But first, let's talk AI. How is is that reshaping the advertising industry right now? Well, Maria, it's great to see you again, and thanks for having me back. What it's doing is, when you look at it, let's go to Atlanta or to Georgia right now to Tyler Perry. You know, if you think about the studios he's built there, and many people have no idea Tyler Perry built these huge studios, but it's on 350 acres, and he was building 12 new sound stages, spending about $800 million, and he canceled it. And he canceled it because he was doing a movie himself and he wanted to age in the movie and he knew makeup would take forever, as you know, and ever and ever and ever. And he did it through Sora AI, which is, again, the future of how movies will be produced. And I think what we're reading about and what they're reporting about is not what's really going to happen. What's really going to happen is people are going to not know the difference between an AI produced movie and a, and a real produced movie with real people. And the actors will become more and more famous that are created through AI technology, not through real people that are real actors and actresses that we now have followed with us the same way that in social media today, we have these new social media stars. Yeah, I mean, and look, I, he canceled all those plans. I guess it was that much cheaper to just use the technology to do it, right? Correct. And yeah. we've seen it happen. We've seen it happen in the advertising business as well, Maria. You know, you and I talked. TV is evolving. Yeah. There's over 300 million TV sets in America today. So as it evolves, we saw this in 2012 here at Zimmerman, and we said, we need to build something that's very different. We need to build a hyper-local, data-driven, audience-targeting platform. Amazing. And what we need is we need lots of data to be able to target your audience. So say that somebody wanted, to, I wanted to advertise on your program for Mercedes-Benz of America. I need a lot of data about who would possibly drive a Mercedes-Benz. And so we built 4,000 data layers. We have over 250 million adults, over 3.1 billion email addresses, wow. 300 million cell phones, and we're now connected to over 65 million homes that have connected TVs. Maria, we could send the right message to the right person at the right time. Yeah. But I, what's going to change? This is going to be amazing. Go ahead. Well, no, I mean, it, that applies to streaming as well. And when we spoke about this uh, recently, you were telling me about how you can target different geographies, right? Because let's say you're talking about that Mercedes ad. Maybe you want to show it in one part of the country that you know it will resonate with and you don't have to buy the entire market. Is that what you're referring to? A 100 percent. I can target the entire country and I could target people that are interested in buying a Mercedes Benz or I could people that are interested in buying products of value from one of our retailers or people that are hungry and want to dine out at a QSR. I know who they are. I know where they are. But I also can target them around a the location. Like if you look at Office Depot, one of our brands, we can target them locally or on a, on a local level, which is a city or in a suburban area or in a rural area. Right. And it goes from blocks to miles to 30 miles. So it can go out there pretty far but can send the right message to the right person at the right time. Well, I, I love that. But, I mean, in terms of streaming, are people turning off because there's ads on streaming? This is a relatively new element, right? The fact that you could do advertising on your streaming. And, and you could buy, as you know, products that you can eliminate the streaming ads or you can buy it at a cheaper rate 
and, and get the streaming ads. People are not turning off the streaming ads, especially when you're getting an ad you're interested in getting. Yeah. And we know what people are interested in getting today. Because of all that data you have. Jordan, it's great to talk with you. Thanks so much. Thank you, Maria. All right. I appreciate being on and always seeing you. Jordan Zimmerman, as well as, as me. Thank you, sir.